Layla's Lunchbox, a Ramadan story, written by Reem Faruqi and illustrated by Leah Lyon. We won't be needing this for a while, said Layla's mother, hanging up Layla's lunchbox. Imagine, I won't be eating lunch for a month, replied Layla with a twirl. I won't have to pack lunch for a month said her mom with a bigger twirl. The year before, Layla had wanted to fast with her best friends, Hand and Ishret, during Ramadan, but Layla's mom had insisted she was too small. Remembering that, Layla stopped twirling. She missed her friends. Moving from one continent to another had been hard. On the map in her atlas, North America and the Middle East were 10 inches apart, but in real life, she was so much farther away. She wished she was only 10 inches away from Hand and Ishret. She knew the sign by the highway said, Peach Tree City, you love to call it home. But she didn't agree with the sign. Abu Dhabi still felt like her home. The next morning before sunrise, Layla's mom gently nudged her. Layla, she whispered. Seti time. Layla chomped on her chocolate chip pancakes with her eyes closed. Delicious, she said. Come, let's pray now, said her mom. After Seti, Layla snuggled back into her bed until her mom woke her up again, this time for school. As she left the house, her mom handed her a note. Layla, please give this note to Mrs. Penworth. Without her lunchbox to carry, her fingers felt extra free and swingy. She felt so light she skipped to the school bus stop. On the school bus, she read her mom's note. Dear Mrs. Penworth, this will be Layla's first time fasting for the month of Ramadan, so it is an exciting time for Please excuse Layla from lunch for this special month. Thanks, Mrs. Malik. Layla didn't feel so bouncy anymore. What if Mrs. Penworth didn't know about Ramadan? No one else would be fasting with her. She folded the note into a teeny tiny square and hid it in her book bag. Layla walked slowly to her class. Her throat felt dry all morning. When lunchtime arrived, she still hadn't given Mrs. Penworth her note. Layla, did you forget your lunch? Asked Mrs. Penworth. Layla opened her mouth to speak, but no words came out. Samantha volunteered. I'll share my lunch with Layla. Mrs. Penworth shook her head. Thank you for the offer, Samantha. But Layla... Please get a sandwich from the cafeteria. Layla followed her classmates to the cafeteria. Layla, do you want some of my cream roll? Asked Anna. Layla thought of telling Anna that she was fasting, but she didn't think anyone at Sunnyvale Elementary School knew about Ramadan. No thanks, she started to say. I didn't bring my... Are you sure? Asked Anna, unwrapping the cream rolls. Layla watched the cream roll get smaller and smaller, and she didn't feel so sure. Cream rolls were her favorite. She looked away. Her nose still smelled food. Layla wished she had given Mrs. Penworth a note. Even Isaiah's bologna sandwich looked tasty, and Layla didn't even like bologna. Her stomach rumbled. Suddenly, she had an idea. While everyone was busy eating, she sneaked out of the cafeteria. Her stomach stopped growling. Why, Layla, it's a pleasure to see you. But what brings you here at lunchtime? Asked Mrs. Carmen, the librarian. Layla felt safe among all the books. She opened her mouth, and this time, her words tumbled out. Layla told Mrs. Carmen that Mrs. Penworth and her classmates didn't know she was fasting. She told her how she missed Hand and Ishret, 
It felt good to tell someone all the words that had been inside her mind all morning, and especially to tell her about Ramadan. Mrs. Carmen understood. You must feel special to fast this Ramadan, said the librarian with a smile. I do, said Layla, but why is it so hard to explain? You know what I always do when I can't get my thoughts out or when I get shy about talking? Asked Mrs. Carmen. I write my thoughts down. Layla got to work. She wrote neatly, adding extra loops to her capital L. She worked so hard her cheeks turned pink. Dear Mrs. Penworth, I didn't forget my lunchbox today. It's Ramadan. My mom finally let me fast. This means I won't be eating lunch for a month. Sincerely, Layla. P.S. I'm Muslim. P.P.S. My mom wrote you a note, too. Here it is. P.P.P.S. Here's a poem I wrote about Ramadan. Ramadan is a month Muslims celebrate, a time to count our blessings and appreciate. Muslims fast before sunrise to sunset. But wait, that's not all just yet. Ramadan is a time for lots of prayer. We help the poor people to show we care. So in the day, I won't be eating any food, but hopefully we'll stay in a good mood. Layla hurried back to the cafeteria to join her class. Before school was out, she quietly dropped both notes onto Mrs. Penworth's desk. The next morning, Layla swung her fingers as she waited for the school bus. Would Mrs. Penworth like her poem? Layla hoped Mrs. Penworth wouldn't think she had forgotten her lunchbox again. She slowly climbed each step onto the school bus. In class, Mrs. Penworth didn't say anything, so Layla wondered what had happened. At times like this, she wished Hend and Ishrit were there with her. They would know what to say. At lunchtime, Layla's feet felt heavy. She was sure Mrs. Penworth hadn't seen the notes. Everyone would think she had forgotten her lunchbox again. As she was leaving class, Mrs. Penworth patted Layla on the back and handed her a message. Mrs. Penworth had made her capital L in Layla's name extra loopy. Dear Layla, I enjoyed your lovely poem about Ramadan. I'm impressed you're fasting. What a special time for you. You and your family must be thrilled. Would you share your poem with the class today after lunch? You could go to the library this month instead of the cafeteria. Mrs. Carmen is excited to see you. Sincerely, Mrs. Penworth. P.S. Mrs. Carmen told me you missed your friends. I hope you keep making new friends with our class. Layla twirled all the way to the library. She couldn't wait to share her Ramadan poem with her class. Later, at Iftar, she would celebrate this day. Fellow YouTubers, if you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, just click on the button where you can donate and be a paying contributor, where you can see more things like read-alouds, drawn tutorials, virtual field trips, cartoons, and more. See more at Story J Storytime, and I'll see you next time.